Welcome, my name is Sue Barrett and I'm founder and CEO of Barrett Consulting Group, Sales Essentials and the Selling Better Movement. We are a business consulting and education firm specialising in human-centred sales systems, strategies, processes and practices that are designed to help people and businesses sell better now and sustainably into the future. Today, I want to talk about the dimly lit world of sales systems and how they are the real secret to sales success and business growth. To start with though, I thought you might like to know that I'm actually a medical scientist by training, but I'm also a business person who is fascinated by the complex social systems of business. Which is why, since 1995, my team and I have been researching, mapping and organising sales systems to bring a more engineered approach to sustainable sales and business growth instead of one that's usually personality or training led. Why? Because we love nothing more than creating clear pathways through the sales chaos that often plagues many organizations. And we also want to prevent random acts of sales so that people and businesses can achieve repeatable sales mastery and outstanding sales results. So I'm inviting you to be a bit adventurous and to go out on a limb with me what I wanted to do is share with you a different approach, a systems approach to selling that will help you sell better now and sustainably into the future. But I need to ask you a favor. For this presentation at least, I want you to look at sales from a different perspective, which means you may need to shift your thinking away from looking at the latest apps, tips or training as the most common solutions to improving sales and see them more as part of the solution. I also want to explore some of the obstacles that get in the way of our adoption of sales systems and talk about the power and importance of purpose and executive stewardship in keeping our sales systems operational and highly functional. To make this practical, I will also use a live case study to illustrate how putting in place a human-centered, customer-centric sales system helps people and businesses sell better, faster and sustainably into the future. There will also be a link to a free mini sales system audit for you at the end of this presentation. So, what is a sales system? When people in business hear the term sales system, they usually associate it with some sort of platform, application or CRM. At Barrett, when we talk about a sales system, or a systems approach to selling, we refer to something different. A sales system is an open system that exists within the environment of an organization and interacts with its markets, customers, competitors and society. A sales system, like marketing, is the interface between our business and our markets and customers. A functioning sales system forms a well-coordinated superhighway or interface of intention, strategy, communication, information, behaviours, tools, technology and actions that flow smoothly back and forth between the customer's world and that of our business. The truth is that we all have some sort of sales system in our business, whether it is built by design or it emerges by default. The important question is this, how well is your sales system working? Because over the years, we've seen mainly two types of sales systems in organizations. Those with a patchwork of sales tools and apps and vague guidelines with many salespeople doing their own thing, or a tightly managed numbers oriented sales regime with rigid protocols, lots of admin and little room for movement. Either way, everything is focused on the salesperson in getting them to perform and very little attention is given to how the organization is supporting them to perform. Does any of this sound familiar? This leads us to our next observation, which is where businesses often create one-way traffic sales operations, pushing their sales teams out to find and win more sales while almost detaching them from the rest of the business. There are often no feedback loops and what's worse, there's a lack of understanding of markets and customers within larger parts of the business. So, the executive teams tend to focus primarily on results, the numbers, the sales pipeline, which is why a lot of execs get fixated 
on the one or more of the thousands of sales pipeline and forecasting apps and CRMs out there as they look for certainty in their forecasting. Instead of looking at what they can control and influence, that is the input measures of sales behaviours, activities and the quality, they focus on the outputs, the results and quarterly targets, always looking at the hard numbers. This means that sales teams are never truly supported or connected to the rest of the business, so sales remains that team over there. Under the pressure of subpar results, managers or L&D then revert to training their sales teams to fix their ever-mounting sales issues because organisations believe the faulty premise that poor sales performance always lies with the sales team. So it's not surprising that sales apps and training are at the risk of becoming the quick fix diet pills of the sales excellence world. What's wrong with this situation? Well, instead of looking at the whole system and treating the underlying cause of poor sales performance, people usually treat the symptoms, which is why they grab for apps and training and keep blaming sales teams. This is just band-aiding the situation. Instead, I'm encouraging us all to take a step back and first diagnose and then address the health of our sales systems instead. Here's a case study to illustrate what I mean. Just over two years ago, I was invited into a $4 billion listed B2B company that was in a terrible state. Their business was in flux and sales were falling. Their market, however, was and still is robust and strong. I met with a newly appointed executive GM and I listened to him for an hour and a half. The previous EGMs had tried and failed to change the reactive and poorly equipped sales team and culture. This new EGM was anxious because this role was going to make or break his career and he wanted to get it right. Like many leaders, his instinct was to reach for sales training as the solution. Training would happen, I said, but not yet. Instead, I asked him to be a bit adventurous, to go out on a limb and look over the edge. I said, there's a different approach, one that will help you sell better now and sustainably in the future. Then I showed him this. What you see here is a high level view of a sales system we developed to make sense of sales and how it connects to the whole business. Everything he had mentioned about his business was captured here I could account for it all in detail. When I pointed out how all the elements can work in concert with each other and flow to generate better sales outcomes, I saw him visibly relax. I said, before we train anyone, we have to diagnose and fix any underlying causes of your sales issues and build a robust sales system and framework that can be embedded in your business to deliver sustainable sales results. So we did an online sales system strategy and operations audit on his business that measured 18 core dimensions and 60 subset dimensions, identifying what was working and what wasn't. You can see here by the percentages that they had some work to do. Nothing was particularly healthy because nothing was actually connected or supported within the business. To shift the dial and achieve a true sales transformation, we pulled together his whole exec team marketing, HR, finance, operations, distribution, as well as his sales leadership team. And we unpacked everything. It showed all of us that their sales issues were symptomatic of systemic issues across the business, not just in sales. For the first time, it showed them all how sales actually works as the interface between their business and their customers. No longer was sales that team over there, now selling was everybody's business. This changed everything and everyone was now on board. We established a sales framework within their business using these four pillars, strategy, process, people and culture. We worked together to build all the necessary elements and engineer them into a consciously articulated sales framework they could systematically roll out, implement and manage. The sales leaders were trained and coached in how to manage their sales system and lead their teams to execute their sales strategy. Together, we had created a healthy sales system within their business ecosystem 
that basically presented a clear strategy and purpose, transparency and ease of use, on the same page decision making, how we sell around here processes, minimum standards of sales excellence, practical common set of tools and resources, easy induction and ongoing development, dramatic uplift in the learn to earn curve, and unity, common ground, and above all, relief. Today, their share price is tracking north with sales, margins, cultures, and customer satisfaction never better. Even during COVID-19, their sales are up 12.5% year to date, while their competitors are in decline significantly. This is just one of the many stories I can share with you about how sales teams and businesses are transformed by implementing a holistic sales system. What sales teams and businesses love about a functional sales system is that it delivers the three C's, consistency, clarity, and communication that leads to greater trustworthiness, commitment, and results. This also creates more positivity, harmony, and flow, and who doesn't want that? But it's not the norm yet across many sales teams and businesses, and here's why. A holistic sales system works best if it is adopted company-wide and selling becomes everybody's business. A clear purpose and genuine commitment from the CEO, executive team and down to understand and embrace a holistic sales system makes a huge difference to achieving sustainable sales results. Until that happens, your sales team will never achieve its full potential. So if this resonates with you in any way, I encourage you to speak up and take this presentation to your board, your CEO, your exec team, and start talking sales systems. Because if nothing else, our 25 years at Barrett has taught us that whilst the selling profession can transform individual lives and careers, holistic sales systems lead organizations towards thriving businesses, viable economies, and flourishing societies. It makes sense. So my question to you is this, when will you adopt a sales system in your business to achieve sustainable sales success? Thank you.